Roger Twybill, Al Bernstein with you now. The last three times these two fighters have met, Pernell Whitaker has come away with victories, the big one in the Pan Am games. Pernell Whitaker, uh, both these fighters softballs, as you can see. Whitaker, a fighter with the style to give Herrera problems. He's careful, he's cautious, but when he unloads, he can throw good combinations and with pretty good power. Herrera, 26 years of age, Whitaker, 20, and I think of all the U.S. fighters, Pernell Whitaker, really one of our top stars if you had to pick one or two out of the entire group. He is considered in his weight division to be a real solid bet to gain the Olympic berth, and I think could do very well in the Olympics. He's a, I think I think he is a very sound technician in the ring, and uh, when he's on his game, is an excellent amateur. Of course, Meldrick Taylor and Clifford Gray also can work in that 132-pound classification, so the U.S. well-stocked in that area. Herrera, a veteran uh, at the age of 26, he's had over 12 years of experience and he has faced so many of the top fighters, again, what Johnny Bumpus, Bernard Taylor, um, Rocky Lockridge, who now is the junior lightweight champion. He also fought Vinny Pazienza, a fighter that we've seen at right, ESPN. Yeah. Actually, in Bumpus, Lockridge, and Pazienza, he's beat all three. He has beaten the entire Lou Duva stable of professionals. <laughs> The Lou, Lou doesn't ever want to see this guy leave Cuba and become a professional. Absolutely. Absolutely. Herrera in the red. Whitaker. White trunks. The blue jersey, of course, for the United States. Norfolk, Virginia. Attends Norfolk State University. And uh, he's been boxing for 11 of his 20 years. Puncher and he went downstairs with the rights. We're seeing some of Herrera's hand speed. He's a, a good combination puncher. Good left hand by Whitaker. Sometimes the lefties do confuse one another, don't they, Al? They, they stopped there for just a moment and kind of looked at each other and tried to get a handle on exactly what they were doing. Yeah, I think you're right. It's almost discernible. You can tell that the wheels are spinning and they're saying, what, now what can I do to get through to this guy? It's like your entire life, you work against that right hand, and all of a sudden you get that left hand, it's like you're looking in a mirror almost. And, and there you saw them both miss straight left hands, a testament what you were saying. And they both came with overhand lefts and missed two. And that was a quick hit by Herrera on the break by the referee. Winding down to the conclusion of the first round. Lightweights, Pernell Whitaker from Norfolk, Virginia, and Angel Herrera of Cuba. During the Suzuki knockout season. And they're going to count it as a knockdown. I think legitimately so. He wasn't hurt, but he was hit with a, uh, a right hand that knocked him off balance. And he, it's a shame in a way for Whitaker because he was having a very good uh, beginning in that uh, second round. If you go back to 1980, Al, uh, Herrera was very successful in the Olympics, was he not? I think it was against uh, Demianenko. That's right, yeah. Soviet Union. And he won the gold medal. 76 also beating Davy Armstrong along the way in what was a very controversial decision. I remember that. And uh, Pernell Whitaker has been up against the Russian fighter Demonenko. As uh, we saw here on ESPN in the USA against Soviet Union, he won a decision last year. And that was about that we broadcast, and I thought in that fight Whitaker looked very good. He and Herrera are evenly matched fighters despite the three wins in a row by Whitaker, and we're seeing evidence of that in this fight. Pernell went down in this round. Uh, he's having a much better second round than he was at first. The last time that uh, Whitaker lost to Herrera was back in 1982 in the World Championships. He lost on points in the finals for second. So three straight victories since then for Pernell Whitaker against Angel Herrera. Good left hand by Whitaker. Whitaker's starting to get not only a straight left hand, but also a good right hook. And in this round, he is jolted Herrera several times. So Herrera in 76 and 80, a successful Olympic competitor. Will 1984 be as successful as those past two? He is trying to uh, win the, a third straight 
consecutive gold medal. And uh, his teammate, Teofilo Stevenson, who we'll see later against Tyro Biggs, did achieve that. And he's still just 26 years of age. I notice now Whitaker has really pulled his trunks down quite low. Uh, I don't know maybe if he felt he was getting hit low, but he made a uh, an effort to uh, pull them down a bit. Whitaker misses. trying to establish the jab with the right hand. And Herrera's showing him a lot of good movement, not letting himself be a stationary target for that jab. I think it's important for him against Whitaker. I think Whitaker's stronger on the inside, and uh, Herrera can't really fight him there that effectively. This has been a very close fight so far. Whitaker did go down. He's standing 8 10 at the beginning of the second round. He did suffer this flash knockdown at the hands of Angel Herrera, but he got up to uh, perform very well. Angel Herrera of Cuba and Pernell Whitaker. Whitaker doesn't waste any time at all. Young man out of Norfolk, Virginia, immediately got inside and landed the right hand. This is a close bout, Al. I would be hard-pressed to tell you who's ahead right now. You can make a strong case uh, that Herrera won round one and Whitaker round two, so things would be very much in doubt here in the third. Whitaker, though, has come out and been the aggressor in the opening moments of this, the third round. 132-pound lightweights, two guys that have met each other you know, many times before, and Whitaker has won the last three. Whitaker, at the age of 20, an experienced amateur, uh, a fighter who I think is very close to reaching, at least as an amateur, his peak. And uh, it's coming at the right time for him. You know, uh, the Olympic situation is such that it's kind of like the playoffs in the, uh, in the pro leagues. You've got to peak at the right time. You can be winning as he is for years, but if you falter in those Olympic trials, then you're in trouble. Whitaker, 20 years of age, Herrera 26, Herrera is married, lives in Guantanamo. He's been boxing for 12 years. Whitaker, on the other hand, has been fighting for 11 years. He certainly has ring savvy. Good technician, but also is able to wheel and deal a little bit. He's when he's fighting not right off his opponent's chest but reasonably close because he can get that right hook cranked up and uh, he's got a lot of power in it. He's been looking for that left hook. He's been trying to set up the, the jab to, to set up that left hook and Herrera's done an effective job of keeping him from that strategy. It does seem, though, when Whitaker can get off first, he, he is more successful than trying to counterpunch. in doubt in uh, the last minute or so of this fight could easily uh, turn it one way or the other. And Whitaker that time just pulled Herrera down. Now that's the thing about international boxing rules. That knockdown won't be considered any more or less than, than simply what it was is a good punch. Just because it was a knockdown that doesn't mean that if it came down to a close decision that Herrera would get the knock. It shouldn't be according to the way the amateur rules go. I, sometimes I think it depends on the official but it shouldn't be. Good right by Herrera. Fine exchange right there. And round three has not offered us much in terms of a conclusive uh, outcome of this fight. Well, less than 20 seconds to go. A very even fight. Let's see who finishes with a flurry here at the end to maybe make a lasting impression on the judges. They both just trade punches. Burnell Whitaker of Norfolk, Virginia. Angel Herrera. Cuba, and that completes the third round. Hey! Hey! And Pernell Whitaker has won the last three against Angel Herrera. Will it be four in a row? It should be a close decision. Let's check it out.
Cornell Whitaker the winner and uh, Angel Herrera the loser for the fourth consecutive time to his American captain.